So your president was in Georgia last night. Georgia used to be a great state, not so great anymore. But they had to send me to Fulton Jail, which is not a nice place. No, 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 not a nice place, especially not very presidential, especially for an innocent president. So I went there and they did the fingerprints and then they took a mug shot. You see that look? Strong look. Only one take, by the way. They said, sir, we usually have to do a lot of takes, but you're obviously so innocent and professional. One take. And then they said, you can go. And I said, no, no, no. I know how jail works because we've been studying. We've been studying. You know, I first did prison reform with Kim Kardashian very strongly. And now we're looking at jails, we're looking at jails. And if they want to put your president into a jail, well, then I'm going to beat them to it. And I know that when you go to jail, it's a very strong rule. They say, go after the, go after the biggest person there and do them deliverance style. And I said, oh, well, you know what, that's what we'll do. But then I realized at 6'5", 210, I was the biggest person in the jail. So when we were filling out the information we lied, we said 6'3", instead of 6'5". Okay, it's called humble. And I said, you know what, I ate an extra McDonald's meal today. Let's bump the weight up to 215. Even though that's not accurate, I'm actually even lighter than that. And we put that down. And then I walked into one of the jail cells and I said, sir, that's not necessary. He said, I know, no, no, it's necessary. And there was a guy in there and I took him to Pantan, okay? And now everybody in the jail, every foot in jail was so tough before, they know but if you're in there, and I don't care, I think the guy was in there for like an expired parking ticket, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I went in and I took him, I took him down and we're making, we're going to make jail and we're going to make prison great again. Okay, only I can do it. I did prison reform and now I'm going to do it with very hands, hands and genitals on. We're going to go stronger than ever. And you know, I, I remember Mike Pence probably would have enjoyed this, to be honest, but we're not doing it for Pence, we're doing it for patriotism. And then as I was leaving, I noticed a prison guard, a woman. Oh no, oh no. Because I said, how the hell are you defending anybody? And she had kind of a big, big rack. And I thought, oh, that's nice. And I said, thank you. And she said, no, thank you, sir. And I said, oh, you know what? When a woman says thank you, it basically means, please take me now, sir. And so I did. And now the jail people, the prisoners know that I'm the toughest. And now the jail guards also know that I won't take any crap and I won't take no for an answer. So basically what we've done is we've made prison great again, which is why to raise money for my defense because I refuse to spend any of my money. Uh, if you go and they say the comments or wherever you go, we're selling very strongly, limited time, limited supply, make prison great again hats, no better way to dress up as jail Trump following no better way to just show support for the most indicted president in history than to make prison great again. And we're going to do it and we're going to do it so much faster than anybody else. And you see Hunter Biden's in a race to get to prison too. No, no, no. I'm going to get there first and I'm going to make it great again. No matter how many people I have to assault sexually with my strong strength. Bye-bye.